Happy Saturday morning. I am downtown Austin leaving my house and I am headed out today to see the sweet quaint town of Bastrop which is about 30 minutes to the east straight down 71 from Austin. I love taking day trips out of my hometown. I live in one of the high rises you can see around here and it's really nice to get out of the city and see what else is around in Central Texas. I decided to go to Bastrop on a Saturday because there are a couple of farmers markets on Saturday. One is the Eden East that actually used to be on the east side in Austin, but because prices have gotten so high in property and property taxes, they have moved to Bastrop. I intend on going to a place on the Colorado River called Neighbors, which is supposed to be a great restaurant with live music. I'm gonna go check out the state park, Lake Bastrop, see what else I can get into. But my first stop is going to be the pecan place on the way to Bastrop. Just decided to do the simple old school roasted and salted. They have milk chocolate, dark chocolate. First stop on the way accomplished, Birdall's Pecans with Mr. Squirrel. So if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for stopping back by the channel. And if you're new here, I put out laid back luxury travel videos. I want you to get out there and go see the world. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's the red one down below. Give this video a thumbs up and ring that notification bell because you don't want to miss an episode. Every weekend, Bastrop Farmer's Market on Chestnut Street is open for business. All kinds of goodies, including fruits, vegetables, soaps, and honey. So I just made our first purchase at Carter Acres. I got some of the mild microgreens with kale, broccoli, kohlrabi, and a spicy radish. How lucky am I at the 1832 Bastrop Farmer's Market? Normally, I don't get to see Bob Apple, uh, except on the weekends at some bar, but it is Saturday afternoon, actually Saturday morning still, and I wish I had a dance partner. Its pages are worn and hard to read. Everybody was so friendly, and they were like, support local, support local. So I'm sporting local with my microgreens and my uh, cucumbers that I just bought. Off to find Eden East and then off to the next adventure. Maybe neighbors. E I need to head out to Lake Maxine's. I heard that is delicious meat and three. Maybe go out to the lake, Bastrop Lake, or to the state park. I don't know. It's going to be a fun day no matter what I do. is on the Colorado River. I believe it's a low water crossing here. And so it's always been a gathering place first for the Indians. And then it was on the Camino Real for the Mexicans coming up into Texas. So even though it was founded by, the city was founded by Stephen F. Austin in 1804, it has been long used as a, as a place or a town slash gathering place. Eden East was one of my favorite places in Austin to get vegetables and I'm excited to actually visit their farm stand for the first time in Bastrop today. Um, it's actually in a garage. I'm going to go check out the farm, buy a few things for my salads, and then onward and upward to the next stop. I'm going to have the best salad ever. I am going to grab a pint of tomatoes here at Eden East and then I'm going to go check out the garden. love it out here. I actually took my shoes off, mm -hmm. walking around in the grass, getting a little grounding since I'm a high-rise living Austin girl.
So if you're headed to Austin or the surrounding areas like Bastrop, make sure to go to the description below and click my free Austin guide. It is a three-day itinerary, perfect days in that amazing city that I call home. Make sure, description below, free guide. I am now headed to Neighbors Kitchen and Bar on Main Street. I'm gonna go check out some of the shops on Main Street. I, it's getting hot, it is about 12.30. So I am hoping that down by the Colorado River at Neighbors, it'll be just a little bit cooler, grab some lunch, cause I'm a little peckish. And then this afternoon, I'm going to head out of town to the lake and to the state park. And I have also heard there is a roadhouse place that is famous for their burgers with slabs of cream cheese. There is lots of shopping here to do. I'm just off of Main Street right here. The Colorado River is just over there where I'm gonna have lunch at Neighbors. And there is this very sweet succulent shop with all kinds of gifts called Green Acres that I just checked out. This is a great place to come wander around, get out of the heat because it is shaded. And there's some fun little old school shops along here. Oh my goodness, that pizza at Neighbors was so ridiculously good. Yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna have to come back here and eat that again. I am so stuffed. Now I'm going to go down to the Colorado River, which is just down there. I'm gonna go for a little walk uh, along the river to sort of work off all of that pizza. This is very sweet. Along the Colorado River, sort of like Austin and Town Lake, or Lady Bird Lake as we call it now, there is a walking path or a biking path uh, right underneath the famous bridge in Bastrop, just off from Neighbors. It is really nice. I'm walking off my pizza before I go over to Main Street because I'm going to have a second lunch. Not a healthy day of eating. First is pizza. Now I'm gonna, going to go have, in Alabama, we would say meat and three, uh, but it is some home cooking at Maxine's and um, do a little shopping over there on Main Street before I head out of town. delicious and now I also have dinner two pork chops mm -hmm. so I'm on Main Street now I just stopped at the Visitor Center they told me about a music festival happening in September so buy your tickets now um, and I met the manager Gloria she was so so sweet the one thing that I've noticed about every here everybody here in Bastrop everyone as you walk by they're like hello how's it going hi nice to see you happy Saturday it is such a nice feeling being in small town Texas
was a sweet little shop. I just left the R.A. Green uh, Specialty Shops. It's actually owned by the church. It used to be a bank building. And now they have artisans in there who are selling their wares. And the little shops are quite small and petite. I am going to make one more stop before I head out of town and go to the State Park and Lake Bass Drop. I am going to go to a distillery. It's called Copper Shot Distillery. I'm gonna go check out, see what they have to offer, get a couple of samples before I head out of town. I got two fusions. One is the blueberry, that's the blueberry, and the cranberry peach. So this one's gonna be sweeter, the regular whiskey, and the pecan infused whiskey. And that's actually really good. It's smoky and rich, not too overpowering, not too uh, fiery on the back side. That's actually really, really good. Let's try the pecan. That one definitely has more fire to it. Woo. Pretty cool going to the Copper Shot Distillery. I just did a small taste and spit them out because I'm about to go for a drive to go to the state park and to go to Lake Bastrop. So here we go. little house. So now I'm at Bastrop State Park. It actually looks like I'm back in Alabama. You have the red dirt, you have pine trees everywhere. It's really, really pretty. It's not a huge park. Uh, it was $5 to enter and you can go from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. So yeah, just checking it out. Cool spot up here, the scenic overlook, pretty spectacular. That was a lot of fun to go check out the Bastrop State Park. Lots and lots of wildflowers, lots of pine trees because it's lost pines here in Bastrop. It's been about an hour. If I had my hiking stuff, I would have hiked, but it was a great little stop. I am now off on my next nature adventure. I am going to head over to Lake Bastrop to see what that has in store. Lake Bastrop is a Spicer Creek Reservoir along the Colorado River. It's 900 acres and 60 feet deep. It's great bass fishing and you can spend the night in the little rustic cabins. Maybe just for a night though. spend the night in one of the cabins along the water there. There's not much going on. It's a very small place. I was on the South Shore. Around the corner from Lake Bastrop and the State Park is that famous burger place I mentioned, the Roadhouse. Well, why not have a third lunch all in one day? never been here before and when I walked in I asked them what should I order to eat what are you famous for and she hands down immediately said you gotta get the burger with cream cheese and jalapeno and check out this burger with look at that slab of green cream cheese that is a huge slab of cream cheese there and grilled jalapeno deliciousness mm -hmm. Mm. 
Ich auch was. Mhm. That was so good. I am now headed home with my last stop. I am going to go over to uh, Lost Pines, the resort. Have a drink on my way home. Check that out because I've never been there as well. And then I'm going to head my happy little booty back to Austin. The Hyatt Regency Lost Pines Resort is a very famous place to stay about halfway in between Bastrop and Austin. The Lost Pines Resort is very kid friendly. It even has a petting zoo with some longhorns, goats, and a couple of sheep. Nothing like some goats on a lounge chair. Oh wait, he just jumped off. He's coming to visit. Hello, hello. Yeah, you want my purse, don't you? You, I don't have any food. <laughs> The resort has beautifully appointed rooms, a golf course, swimming pool, and lots of green space right along the Colorado River. Well, I'm at the end of my day. I'm at the Lost Ponds Resort, and I am going to get a glass of bubbles before I head home. It has been a wonderful day in Bastrop, and I can't wait to go back and see this sweet town again. I am Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and I'll see you in small town Texas somewhere soon. Take care. Bye. Two farmer's markets, Bertles, now to a restaurant, also to another restaurant, then to another restaurant, and a little wandering around and shopping in between. <laughs> That's how I roll. <laughs>